Hi, my name is Scott Behrens, founder of U.S. Centrifuge. Today we're outside of our Indianapolis-based manufacturing facility, and we're going to go in and take a look at our line of manual clean centrifuge. At U.S. Centrifuge, we essentially only build one model of manual clean centrifuge. However, they come in a variety of materials of construction and system integrations. As an example, this is a machine with a complete system package that's going to an naval air station for a paint stripping application. Here is a fairly basic machine that's going to a vibratory finishing application. And believe it or not, this is a machine that's going to the White House for one of their maintenance shots. The centrifuge package you see here is one of the more popular manual clean systems. This machine includes a carbon steel construction with an aluminum centrifuge bowl, three horsepower motor, a progressive cavity pump which is belt driven by the motor. And it includes just a basic motor starter, pre-wired to the motor. When you start the machine, it also starts the pump. That's a pretty nice feature. This machine also includes a portable stand so you can roll the unit around inside your plant. Now, a package like this, depending on exact configuration and how you might prefer to have it equipped, costs about $7,500. bucks. the more custom manual machine package. All wetted surfaces are constructed of stainless steel, as is the centrifuge hole. It also includes a stainless steel liner. It includes a more advanced electronic control package. The machine runs on a timer basis. And we also have controls here to operate the air-powered feed and return pumps. This machine also has a vibration sensor on it, so that if the machine needs to be cleaned out prior to it timing out, the vibration sensor will trip and the light will come on notifying the operator that the machine needs to be cleaned out. Now, as you can see on the back side of this system package, we have a custom frame, we have air-operated feed and return pumps, we have a discharge receiving tank, which does include float switches that control not only the return pump, but if there was a failure in the return pump, let's say, and the tank level got too high, the float switch would turn off the feed pump to prevent any liquid from overflowing onto the floor. This is a vibration sensor that I mentioned to you earlier ago that if the machine got full and was vibrating, would stop the unit. We have a lid safety switch right here to prevent the machine from being turned on while the lid is open. Now, a whole package like this costs probably in the range of about $17,000. Now, the beauty of these machines are you can get as fancy as you want with system design and components, materials of construction, or you can get as basic as you want. You can go from $17,000 here to buying just a bare bones machine that you might incorporate into your own system for approximately $6,000. Now, what do we mean when we say manual clean centrifuge? Well, I guess there's two ways to look at it. One way is, in the old days, you used a hand crank cream separator on the farm. Well, when we mean manual, we don't mean hand crank. This machine does have an electric motor that does power the centrifuge bolt. What we do mean by manual clean is the fact that you do have to clean the machine out by hand. Now let's review exactly what the manual clean process is. Okay, the machine has been running on your process for X number of minutes, and now you've got a machine that's full of solids that you want to remove and clean out. So what has to happen is you have to stop the machine. When it comes to a stop, the next thing you need to do is open the bowl enclosure. These two rubber latches simply are un, uh, unlatched. You take the lid and you lift it up. Now we're going to look inside the machine and we're actually going to remove the lid and pull the liner from the unit. Okay, now that we've opened the enclosure lid, the next thing to do would be to remove the actual lid of the bowl. It's held in place by four socket head cap screws. We'll unscrew those with a supplied hex key. And we'll take these apart, loose going across from each other. Okay, now that we've removed the four screws that hold the lid in place, we'll now remove the lid. Now, the solids would be contained in this liner right here. So, to remove the liner, we simply use the liner lifting tool, which is supplied with the machine. Drops in, clips onto the liner. The liner is easily removed, so you can dispose of the solids. Now, what most guys do is they would take the dirty liner and set it aside and clean it when they get time. 
So then what you want to do is you take a clean liner, drop it back in the machine, put your lid back on with the alignment marks. That way the integrity of the balance is maintained because the lid will only go on one way. Take your four screws, put them back in, tighten them up, close the lid, and you're ready to go again. This whole process shouldn't take any more than about five or ten minutes of time. Okay, now that we understand exactly what a manual clean machine is and the process of cleaning the unit out, let's go see one in actual operation. So you might ask yourself, well, given the fact that there are a variety of manual clean centrifuges on the market, what really makes the difference between one unit and another unit? Well, we like to think that we do a few things a little different than our competitors that make our machines a little bit better. In terms of processing performance, probably one of the main advantages our machines have is with our feed cone construction. A lot of competitors' machines will have impellers, but we have the added benefit of having a feed cone. This helps increase the efficiency of the unit separation by driving the liquid to a greater depth of centrifugal force as well as causing the liquid to enter at the lowest point in the bowl having to travel the furthest distance to exit. Another thing we do at U.S. Centrifuge is the part of the bowl that actually sits down on top of the spindle is actually incorporated into the bowl bottom casting. Also, it's cut with a taper inside and the spindle also has a matching taper. This ensures just added concentricity and smoother operation. We also take our aluminum bowls and we hard anodize them for extra durability and corrosion resistance. One of the things that makes our machines really a lot easier to use as well is when you go to clean the machine out and by having the liner lifting tool and a removable liner. It simply clips on and you can remove the liner. Our liners come in two materials. We have a stainless steel liner or we have an ABS plastic liner. The ABS plastic liner works for a lot of applications. The nice thing about it is if you damage it, uh, it's less than 20 bucks to replace. If you take good care of it, an ABS liner will last you for quite a while. Okay, to compare the difference in the bowls, let's take a look at one of our competitor's bowls. As you can see from the outside, it looks pretty much the same. If I flip it over, you'll notice the bolt in nave with the straight sh shaft fit. The lid has four screws for removal, much like ours, but here's one of the things you'll notice. you notice the four impellers, and you'll even notice that they're notched out here, which further reduces separating efficiency. <clears throat> now, one of the other things is their machines include a rubber liner. Now, when this rubber liner gets full of solids, it sticks in there pretty hard. So, in order to pull it out, there is no tool. You pretty much have to stick a screwdriver in here and start prying to get it out. Well. Let's say you pry this liner out of here, and you get it out, and you dump your solids out. Well, what happens if your screwdriver punctures the hole in the side of this liner? Well, now, instead of spending 20 bucks for an ABS liner, now you're going to spend probably at least 125 maybe a lot more money. So what applications are ideally suited for a manual clean machine? Well, probably like vibratory finishing, parts washers, small paint booths, I'm sure a variety of other applications. Um, but the one thing you really have to keep in mind is how often you're going to need to clean this machine out in a day's time. While the price is attractive for a lot of customers, you need to think about, do I need to clean this machine out more than once or twice a shift? If you do, then the machine's probably going to be in more trouble than it's worth, and your operators aren't going to clean it out. And if they don't clean it out, and they don't take care of the machine, it turns into a maintenance nightmare. Well... We realize that at U.S. Centrifuge, and one of the things that we've tried to do is to continue to bring automatic cleaning technology to a more affordable price level. So, if you're thinking about buying one of these machines because you like the lower price, but it needs to be cleaned out three or four times a shift in your application, you might want to think about our new Model A100. 
This is a fully automatic cleaning machine. It requires no operator attention. It's very easy, very basic to use, and it sells for under $25,000. I hope you found our little homemade video to be informative and useful. So whether you have an application that's ideally suited for a manual cleaning machine, or an application more worthy of an automatic cleaning machine, please know that U.S. Centrifuge will be happy to help you in determining the right machine, the right system, and the materials construction that are required for your application.